that. Guys, I don't know what happened. I went to bed at 10.30 last night, which is the earliest I've been to bed in so long. I woke up at 8, which is like half an hour earlier. I got up, showered, I ate. I just finished a quiz, which I got 90% on because I'm a fucking genius, whatever. And it's only 10.20. I have been so productive. So I'm going to run to Dynamite because I have some things to return. Actually, I should probably figure out when they open. Let's see. Dynamite. I did an online order. Dynamite. Okay, let's see when you open in South Common hours. Uh, 10. Hey, they're open. So I'm gonna do some makeup because I'm gonna come back and do a haul video maybe um, And if not, I'm gonna do a you now, but I'm pretty much done everything I needed to do today Except I have some Skype meetings later on this evening um, But I'm super excited. Oh my god I was gonna just do like a quiz really quick and then I got really into it And I might I just have to finish rewriting two chapters worth of notes and then I'm pretty much fucking done guys like I'm I'm solid all I wanted to do is finish quizzes and I have been doing that and I have been killing that I might even come home and do another one who knows who knows but right now I'm gonna go do my makeup I'm feeling super good and productive and I love when I feel like this I'm gonna oh my god stand up ow ow I just like fucking sit on my knees while I'm doing exams because uh, um all right let's go do our makeup okay face makeup done i'm literally just gonna brush my hair have a yogurt and then we're gonna run out to dynamite although i do think i want to call them because the one that i'm going to is like an outlet okay so i'm mailing out <laughs> the giveaway um for the boxy charm giveaway which had all the coastal sense stuff i'm literally using an old coastal sense box that's just my po box um so, sorry that it looks like shit, but hopefully you like everything that's in it. Guys, look at my new shoes. These are Pumas. I got them from Hope Look. And I just think that they're so cute. And they're so comfy. I really got these for Vegas, because everyone said, like, bring some comfy shoes. And I feel like these are cuter than, like, my Nikes, which look like I'm gonna go out for a run. Okay, thank God I just called the store, because the one that I was gonna go to, their system is down, so they can't do returns, and they can only use cash and everything. So I'm gonna return it to Southgate, which means slightly more of a drive. Um, but that also means that I don't have to go into town today to mail something out, because I pass a post office on the way so that's good so hey um i went and i exchanged all of this stuff that didn't fit properly for three items that fit like a glove and now i have something cool that i can wear in vegas that isn't too hot so that's nice like it's not sweatery it's just like it's like loose and billowy and i like it a lot so feeling good about that and then i got some greek salad for me to go home and eat because I don't know like just being in a mall now since I've you know stopped shopping uh, every weekend it like makes me hungry and it also makes me anxious which makes me more hungry I don't know am I the only one who gets anxious and instead of losing my appetite I'm like I need to eat now because if I don't eat when I'm anxious I get lightheaded and anyways I bought some <laughs> Greek salad which is so good and uh, I'm gonna go home eat it probably film a haul I was gonna stop at Winners, and I always have all these like, yeah, I'm gonna go to this store and this store, and it's gonna be great. And then after I'm done like five minutes of shopping, I'm like, no, nah, I wanna go home. <laughs> Hello, good afternoon. It's the ninth today, and I don't wanna talk about it. What I do wanna talk about is, I just, like, look at this. I just stabbed my foot right here, and it's so swollen now. I'm so, ow, it hurts so bad. Oh, and there's a big bump and it's bruised. I stabbed it on the corner of this table right here. Killing it. Fucking literally wanting to kill it. Ow, it hurts. It hurts. It hurts. And also, oh, I'm just gonna take like a good half an hour nap because my foot is throbbing and I'm just not having it. I'm so tired. I couldn't sleep last night. Again, I don't know what my deal is when it comes to like sleeping lately i had such a good sleep the night before last and then last night i just couldn't do it hey okay so i'm going to joey's right now which is a restaurant i feel like i just say things like that all the time like i'm going to this place that is the name of a person but it's actually a business establishment um 
So I had my appointment for my ears today. Turns out I'm not like a psycho. There actually was <laughs> something wrong. I have, I'm hoping that I'm right in saying it's a keloid, which is basically like a buildup of scar tissue. Um, so that's fun. I got injected with some steroid that's supposed to help, I guess, decrease it because there's so much. <laughs> Um, and yeah, apparently this is really weird because I'm not, um, black and I'm not pregnant and those are the two people that this tends to happen a lot in. But, uh, my surgeon, and for those of you who don't know what I'm talking about, I got my ears pinned back. I got an otoplasty July of 2014 and 2014? Yes. No, 2015. Anyways, it was like a year and a half ago. And, um... The, the scars never were really that flat, like, oh, I should touch it because that hurt. Uh, let's not do that. But they were never really flat, but they've gotten more raised recently. And um, he's like, yeah, this has happened like three times in my career. You know, it's happened to three times, three people. It's very, very rare. It's not damaging at all. It just doesn't look very good. So we're going to take care of you. I'm going to go back in four weeks and get another round of injections done. And then I think it's six weeks after that. And if it doesn't seem like it's kind of flattening out, cause it's supposed to like flatten out the raised scar tissue, right? Um, then I have to go under again and get that taken care of. And honestly, I went in with a total open mind, whatever he said he needed to do, I was totally ready to do it. And it was great. It was, you know, in five seconds, you have keloids. We're gonna inject you with some steroids. And uh, it was a very snappy procedure, so I'm very, very happy with that and I also have some stuff that's I'm gonna put on my ears and that should take care of like the itching and everything so anyways I'm a special snowflake because this doesn't happen to very many people and now it is about two o'clock and I'm off to meet um, Nick for lunch he's one of my friends from school we had Spanish class together which was dope Spanish crew um, <laughs> Thank God that's behind me. I, I cannot. I'm so bad at second languages. It's not even, it's it's so, it's so shitty. Um, but it was a fun class. It was like a fun group of people. This wasn't like this previous summer. It was the summer before that. And it was really, really fun. It was during the summer. It was three weeks and it was maybe six hours a day for three weeks, which was shitty. And I hated that, but it was made more fun by, uh, by having a cool group of people around, which we did. We had a good group. And what else? What else? I feel like I have so much to update you on because I didn't vlog at all this morning. I didn't really vlog yesterday. Um, I'm going to my aunt's tomorrow. She got a new kitten, actually from Taylor. And I'm gonna make this cat love me. And I will show you this cat. Okay, I just did my laundry for the week. And like I've been doing recently, anytime I find a sock without a pair, um, anything that's worn out, like this bra I've had for literally Oh my god, probably five or six years. This sweater, it's just the strings kill me. They're so long and they kill me. Um, underwear that like isn't fitting as well anymore or I don't like. Um, this I've made into a pajama shirt and it's just not like, I don't wear a bra with my pajamas and this is so sheer and I live with my family so that's weird. So I'm forced to either wear a bra or put something over this and I just don't want to. So this, all of these are gonna go in the garbage and then these will get donated. Also, I am packing for a weekend trip to my aunt's place and I wanna fit it all in this bag. So let's see, I'm going for um, one night and like the clothes that I'm wearing there, I'm gonna be wearing obviously there and then I can just wear them home. Okay, so this is everything I've got. These are my pajamas, underwear, and then some fuzzy socks, a sweater. This is my makeup bag. I've got a perfume, lip gloss, nail file because my nails always break over there. Um, a crease brush, shader brush, eyeliner brush, eyeliner, brows, mascara, primer, Clinique, everywhere, everywhere, Graze palette, love it. Um, I've got this little sample moisturizer and the sample cleanser, this lotion from Laura Mercier, which I love, um, blush, powder, BB cream, and then some brushes, makeup remover. Um, I've got a toothbrush over there. I have a brush in my purse. Mm. I have deodorant in my purse. I'm just trying to think through while I'm doing this. I think that's everything I need. Uh, yeah, I would say it fits with room to spare. 
so <laughs> um, I might put some of my school books in there just because you know if I need to get any reading done but I'm just gonna wear layers which is what I like to do when I'm going somewhere and I want to keep it lighter so I have my cardigan some jeans and then I'll put like maybe a t-shirt or something and that's that